Okay, today I'm going to be testing an external battery pack versus rechargeable batteries in two Vivitar 285HV's flashes. Uh, so what I did is I made myself a external battery pack here in Korea. I got all the things I needed for about 24, I don't know, about 34 bucks. And uh, if you want to find out how to make that, you'll see a link on the right that'll take you to my blog and you can learn how to make your own battery pack. And what I want to figure out is if I really get better recycle times than when using uh, rechargeable batteries. So I'm going to show you the batteries I'm going to be using and then I'm going to put them in these flashes here and I'm going to flash each one on full manual power at the same time. Uh, with the idea being that we'll see one recycling more quickly than the other. Uh, this is by no means a really scientific method of testing them, but I figure we'll get a pretty good idea if one is drastically faster than the other. So I'm going to uh, take you off the tripod here and show you what we got here. This is a battery I picked up for nine bucks. I uh, did all the connections here. I have a fairly long cable on there, I'd say it's almost two meters. This is the connector I use, the Molex connector, to put the two together. I ordered another Vivitar battery pack online from eBay, I got three of them, and what you can see there are dummy battery converters. So what they do is you can put an AAA battery, a AAA battery, into a AA battery and use it uh, as a converter or an adapter and devices. What I did is I modified them by soldering the uh, wires to the tips, and so that's what's running the power into my unit. And here you'll see that I have uh, four fully charged um, cycle energy batteries, and they're running at 2,000. Here we go, 2,000 mAh. They've been used a few times, fully discharged and recharged, so they should be pretty well conditioned. I'm going to pop both of these in the cameras, and then after that, we're going to do the test. Alright, so what I've done is I've put the Sony rechargeable batteries into V2 Zap, where it says rechargeable batteries on the top. And I've put my external battery pack into V1 Blitz. So I'm going to close both those up, and then what i got to do next is make sure that they're both on full manual power. So that one's on manual. And this one here is already on manual, so we've got both cameras on manual, or sorry, both flashes on manual. Next, going to start them up. Oh, I love that wine. And so, already we can see that the 6 volt battery pack uh, the external pack charged up a lot quicker. I'm already getting fast recycle times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the manual flash trigger here on the sides. There's two red buttons on the sides and I'm going to fire off a flash and I'm going to keep count here, one, two, three, four, because uh, there's a good chance you won't see a flash due to the frame rate on the video camera and you just may not see one. So I'll be speaking and you'll also hear the whines. Here we go. One. Ah, uh, yes. External battery pack wins. Two. And the external battery pack's coming on quicker again. Three. Yeah, this is pretty clear. Although not scientific, you can see that the external battery pack is coming up much faster than the uh, rechargeable batteries. I'm going to blast them off one more time. Four. And not only that, uh, I was using this battery pack the other day uh, just with the charge that it came with from the factory. And uh, the thing lasted forever, even probably half empty, and it still outlasted my rechargeables that were fully charged. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to blast this off again. This is number five. And then I'm going to switch to a quarter power. No, actually, this will be 1 16th, which is the lowest power setting. Uh, and we'll just see how many 
repetitive flashes we could get. I guess I'm going to do a burst of uh, five flashes and we'll see if they can keep up. I'll go slowly though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, there again you can see that the external battery pack was definitely uh, always ready to go. I don't think it stalled out once, whereas the rechargeable batteries, there was a second delay there before the flash was ready to go again. So overall, conclusion is uh, external battery pack rocks. If you want to figure out how to make one or you just need some help, uh, check out the blog that I've listed there. It's www.comatost.ca and there you'll find instructions on how to make one of these suckers. And remember, you can use it for more than just a flash. Uh, you could use it for any number of flashes aside from the Vivitar. You could use it to power your camcorder. You could use it to power just about anything battery operated, but uh, you know, do it at your own risk because uh, they're going to require different voltages, different milliamps, different wiring configurations, and the only one I've laid out is for the flashes I'm using here. So, good luck. Catch you later.